Hey, cadets. Uh, been a hot minute, hasn't it? Allow me to check up on the health of the stream right quick. Make sure the audio is coming in. And then we can be again. Hello? Hello? Where's the issue? I'm muted. I'll fix it. I'm fixing it. Did I fix it? Did I? Everything's plugged in. God dang it. String Labs, you fucked me over again. <laughs> The actual fuck. issue Mike issue Okay. Let's see if that did anything. Okay, I see the problem. My microphone port, or my headphone port is uh, screwed up in the front. So we're gonna have to put it in the back. All right. Um. Hi? Hello?
Ja. We just had this issue solved yesterday. God dang it. Put you in there, put you in there. Put you there. God freaking concern it. Okay, there we go. Oh my God. Move this cord over. For Knights of the Round's sake. All right. Oh. All right. Let's get started. Hello everyone, I am Commander D. And today we're gonna be playing a little bit of Fortnite again. But we will be ta addressing something that needs to be addressed. That is the 20 f rules of VTubing. As this is very important, there are 20 rules each and every one of them very important. I wasn't planning to just do my angelic form when I realized I could just do this while playing Fortnite. So, nonetheless, let's get started. Before we end up talking about the top 20 rules, we need y'all to understand what are the various punishments of breaking these rules. As I was very cryptic, and rightfully so. I had to be cryptic about the punishments. I merely said only four of these broken will cause your model to uh, cause you to lose collaborations. That is true. But break six of them and you will not get a collab or welcome back in the VTubing scene ever again. This applies to the Golden Age rules. 
The Silver Age rules are more passe. And the bronze is more like... I. They're like guidelines. So, there is 12 gold, sil uh, 6 silver, and 2 bronze. These rules are very important as it keeps the health and safety ness of the health and physical appearance of the scene. Now, when I address VTubers as a scene, it's more of an industry. VTubing is an industry that is, needs to be respected, protected, and even that of overall... Well, and I quote... <clears throat> uh... Wow, I jumped off in the ocean. Yeah, we're not heading that way. I did not mean to say, hey, I'm jumping in the ocean. <laughs> Dummy. But, uh, yeah, so... What does it mean, these rules? And why are they so important? is to protect the health and welfare of the streamer, the streams, and the VT, along with keeping a positive image in the scene. Break these rules, and the community or the industry will break you, go out of their way to break you. I've only broken at least about three of these rules, at most two. But let's get started as knowing these rules are very important. Rule one, never steal a VTuber's identity. This falls, under, falls underneath one issue. Never steal their model. This is a very big one at number one. Now, this rule has been easily broken, if not entirely been from time to time, from people in the community to even that of Vivid fans thinking no that they know how the rule works. Fans are not, or like, followers are never the one to enforce the rules but they are the ones to report any rules broken you're merely meant to report them to the streamer not take the rules into your own hands Cutting off his way to get to me. That's thinking ahead. So, anyways, these rules are not merely just guidelines. Some of them are, some of them aren't. And they have to be followed. As I mentioned, rule tw one. Never steal a VTuber's model or identity is very important. The fans need to bring up, uh, the, or the followers need to bring it up to the streamer's attention, but never to take the law of the VTuber's career into their hands. They should leave this up to the VTuber to deal with.
Your job is to merely report it, not to take justice into your own hands. Next I want to mention, obviously, is Rule 2. Never steal a VTuber's shit, a.k.a. act. But this is also very important, as every VTuber needs to have their own shtick, their own act, their own everything. And it's really hard in the scene to do this. This is where you have to be generally very creative of an individual. This rule is meant to inspire creativity while also making sure you don't steal somebody else's overall rights to their, er, well, and I quote, <clears throat> career choice. Now, from rule one and two, and these are golden rules, by the way. The first 12 are golden rules, and rightfully so. From rule all two, we need to go to rule three. Never steal a VTuber's background. Yet again, this is a situation that a lot of VTubers make a mistake of. Some of them create their own, others overall and uh and I quote a repurposing other art from other er, posts online such as myself. I ended up taking several backgrounds from video games or other artists and making it into something very unique, something special. My art backgrounds are from video games and various other artists. And a lot of VTubers go with video game backgrounds. You just need to understand that not all video game backgrounds are royalty free. And you see this one? This is the Ball Lamb Garden Classroom. Final Fantasy VIII backgrounds are really... don't fall under copyright claim. I'm being quite honest with y'all with y'all when I say that. Final Fantasy VIII backgrounds really don't get you in a lot of trouble. Selfie Splinter. This ah ah dumb fucked up. Ah, I didn't see that coming. Okay, yeah, let's let's go to the next match. So never stay on VTubers background is very important. A next thing, obviously, in the VT scene. It, or industry is another golden age rule number four. Ugh. Males can't be lootubers. You can see my stress with this one. Male VTs cannot be lootubers. This is a female exclusive uh, type of content. I feel like this rule is severely outdated. Male VTubers should be able to express their overall funny and lewd jokes if they do it in a way that does not offend female VTubers. This is a rule that I have broken that I'm trying to fix. I have been for the longest time as this misconception of my character and VTuber model seriously pisses me off. I have made mistakes and I'm trying to apply myself and fix my career. 
But when there's so many females in the VT scene that you end up pissing off because you are a freaking virgin male and they don't understand that there's still ones of those left in the world. It's really difficult. As a matter of fact, a lot of female VTubers think virgin males should be crucified by all women. And that pisses me off. I saved myself for Mrs. Wright. I'm not willing to lose my virginity to some freak and overall lady in a back alley. I have a right to do that. When female VTubers think that uh, that should be a overall convicted and crucified for is an issue. I'm not the one that needs to apply myself because I'm saving myself for Mrs. Wright. You have a triple burst, I actually have a full burst. There, fella. Waste not, want not. But uh, anyways, yes, I think this rule is severely outdated and needs to be reapplied for future VTs in the industry. It is not right, it is not fair, it is not just. And this should not be an only female platform ill for the industry. As long as the male VT can get it done and only have it be an act for fans, I think it's okay. No, I truly believe it's okay. As it should be. There should be equality in that regard. But I can't fix that. That is beyond my power. As I don't have that type of hold in the VT community or industry, I'm still considered the new guy. It's not my fault a lot of females in the industry have a problem with virgins. If you are a virgin and you enter in the VT scene, I highly suggest you don't go with the lewd act or like try to come off lewd. They'll pick up on that in a heartbeat and rip you apart. And they don't care if you're a virgin or not. They don't care if you're mentally disabled, they will rip you apart.
I cannot stress enough how I think this is completely outlandish and unfair. Oh. Let's go into the next rule. As that was rule four. And that was a lot of griefing I did over rule four. Rule five. <clears throat> Respects your fellow VTuber. Son of a bitch! Lag hacks. Damn it. So, yeah. Um, where were we? Right, uh, I think it was rule five. Uh, let's see here. So I covered that. Rule six is another golden rule, as these are numbered and colored by numbers. Rule six is one you're not supposed to break as well. Is a betrayal of trust of a VT. Now, if you're friends with a VTuber and you betray their trust, right? Let's say you know the VTuber. There's a difference between knowing the VTuber Step up to the chopping block. My aim's on point. I don't need aim assist, bitch. Take that. God, I love these toys. Double the damage, double the fun. So never betray a VTuber's trust is very important, especially ones you are collabed with or you're friends with. This is another Golden Age rule that must be enforced at all times. Woo! 
Dead shots! Dead shots! Dead shots galore! Let's go! Frick you go. Son, you got stormtrooper aim. Scrub. You're a boy. Time the ball. Where's the balls to shoot me? Yeah, I gotta be around here somewhere. I got a wasp trying to shoot me. How annoying. Your position got gave away, son. You walked into the wrong house, fool. The island of Genosha is probably full of e like looted by now. Moving on. Yeah, let's see here. Nothing there. Yeah, that's the kind of care. But uh, on from rule six to rule seven. Golden rule seven. Very simple, very easy. To break 
compared to the others. Is never go out of your way. And this one goes the male VTs, by the way, in general. Like, never go out of your way to get in a relationship with a VTuber, right? Ooh, boy. I think we know who's all guilty of this one. Now, this rule is so easy to break. Because there's a lot of females in the scene that are actually looking for a relationship, too. Yeah, we're backing out. No, I hear that. Jeez, what is he looking for? Is it me that he's looking for? Or somebody? Ooh, no. Peppered your ass. Somebody better call an ambulance. We got a murder. So never fall in love uh, with an actual uh, VT, whether it's male or female, when you're in the VT scene. This one's rule number seven. It's so easy to break. And because there's a lot of males and females that are looking for love. This also falls on artists, like really popular ones at least, and riggers. I'm guilty! As well, along with Taka. Alright, we're both guilty on this one. Whereas his sin is literally a female oh, VTuber. Mine, on the other hand, is an artist. Slash rigger. Um... Yeah, not my finest moment. Jeez, who shot me that time? Well, they tried, and they failed. How many people are left? God dang it. I think there's only six or seven, because, like, from the screen, I can only see so many <gasps> on there, because I shortened, like, how big the screen is. Oh, interesting. I think I may be in the top ten. Just about... Yeah, I'm gonna have to take pot shots at that guy. Gotta watch myself. What the frick is this?
But a lot of VTubers are definitely guilty of a lot of things. So I mentioned two of the sins I'm guilty of! <laughs> Not looking good for me. Yeah, bolting, 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 bolting. God dang it, I didn't mean to throw it. My place third. Rule eight. I did this once. I'm not going to do it again. Uh, stream sniping a VTuber. I, uh, not proud of myself. Um, watching another VTuber during a live, during their live stream while having it on yours. I'm guilty of this. Humblest apologies, Heavy Metal Queen, Elf Lady. Um, just wanted to show you some respect, but I ended up, like, possibly picking you off. Uh, my apologies. So, three rules broken. Oh, oh, oh. That I'm applying myself not to do again. Now, uh, rule nine. Obviously, this one involves, like, lists. This is the VTuber uh, no collab or collab list. Every VTuber has one, but they can mention they have one, but they never mention who's on the list. Um... In Pacific. I said all of these Sojo's on my blacklist. That's not entirely true. Just a chosen few that have either ticked me off or I'm afraid of taking them off. This takes knowing one's true self. And what he's capable of doing and not doing. This takes some self-awareness, inner strength, and understanding of one true self in general. This also takes some um, research, spiritual guidance, and refinement to also achieve. It's not entirely impossible, but you need to understand your career and what's best for it. I myself am a variety gamer streamer, so I play a lot of video games. So more than likely, in my case, like, I would be better off with variety gaming streamers as VTubers. I recently put a post on Twitter slash X saying this VTuber is ready for, like, obviously, video game collabs. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Cap shield, yes. Oh, I love this thing. So, rule number nine is also very important. Catch register was hit. Or, like, not open yet. Oh, well. So never mentioning who's exactly on your blacklist is important. 
But what do you do if somebody contacts you that is on your blacklist, right? Well, you humbly turn them down and tell them, it's not me, it's not you, it's us. Come at me, bro. And I tried to hold him off. Not my best plan. Rule 10. This one concerns conventions. It's a golden rule in VTuber conventions. Or conventions VTubers get involved with, right? Always inform the convention in some way or form that you are arriving. As a VTuber arriving, arriving at a convention can cause problems. You should always talk to the head of the staff or even the, uh, to the head of the facility either through a phone call or at least in person to arrange an explanation of why you're there and overall what you're doing and what you're planning to do. Rule 10, very important. Rule 10. 11. Rookie crushing is not allowed. This is another golden rule. I talked about this previously. And I'm so glad that I did. Rule 12. Have a professional and humble atmosphere with other VTs. This one is also very important. And I'm going to be real. This is hard for me, but not impossible. There's other VTs that have picked me off, called me out without actually calling me out, and I called them out. That's an unprofessional atmosphere of me. But can you blame me when others literally tick me off? I uh I hate that they do this. If you want to talk to me or contact me, my DMs are open. If you want me to adjust myself, contact me on my DMs on Twitter or my like personal Discord. There is a system with me. I made a system. That plays in the Rule 13, one of the Silver Age rules. Always have a system, a plan, a strategy for success. You need a plan. You need a strategy. You need a way to succeed. Silver Age rules are more like career suggestions. They're ones that I let you know oh, what you need to understand how to succeed. Rule set a rule... Well, 13 is a Silver Age rule, and to always have a plan to your success is also very important. If you don't plan things out, if you don't do research and studying to plan things out, you will never make it in the VTubing scene. To understand the VTubing industry, you need to understand Rule 13. VTubing is a career choice. It is an industry. Seriously, bitch. I should have took that gun away from you.
So, yeah. The next item I want to mention, the next Silver Age rule, rule 14. And what's going on now? Oh, yeah, the out of premiere of the song. All right, whatever. Um... Doesn't really concern my content. So, oh, yeah. Rule 14. Is literally understanding that this industry, you must have a way to, and I quote, support it. Supporting the industry is very important. It shows that you're serious. And supporting the VT industry or scene definitely shows that you care. That you care about its longevity and overall purpose. Right now, what am I doing? I'm talking about the 20 rules of VTubing that is finally supporting this industry, right? Addressing this will obviously give me a better image and show that I truly do care about the industry. There's tons of individuals that can literally care less about the industry. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, hey! Incoming! Go away, please. Okay. Trying to get this chest. We'll continue on the rules here in a second. Man, the shotgun so much reload slow. guy that died. Where the heck was he off that? Right here? Poor bastard. Alright. So, rule 15. I mean, yeah, it's rule 15. Rule 15. In the VT industry, another silver age rule. Uh, 
When appearing at a convention, hide your identity in some way or shape or form. Now, this is more of a guideline, not a golden age rule. At one time, it was considered a golden age rule. This rule has been more than made passe. By other v well known VTubers, such as Taka or not. I already have that. Froggy and several others. Now, a lot of the old school VTubers, such as Pip and Pepka, always believe this rule is very prevalent, very important, and should not be thrown away. And I understand that. But here's the thing with that rule, I believe at least, is that this rule is severely outdated. It will only give our attackers more means to attack us, Jeez, you didn't use that shield right. I will, though. Poor fella. I feel for that one. You gotta use that shield better. No, he ran into me and thought probably easy target. I know the hard way I'm not that easy. Alright, continuing on. So, yeah, I smell bitches. Come here, boy. I'm gonna spank you with my shield. Down and out for the count. Mm. Damn, not looking good for you, fam. Mm -mm. So, uh, next is another golden, uh, silver age rule though. So, never attack a VT unless you have appropriate evidence of them attacking you first. Now, Yumiko and her manager attacked me and my content because they didn't know how to take a compliment. I exposed the evidence on live stream, of course, but not on that video as I've done enough. Exposing what they did. The Silver Age rule of number or 16 it's literally meant to make sure that false blame is not thrown. Above me. Or 
the hell are you? Man got you pinned up a wall like on Tuesday night. That's the night, by the way. Didn't see that coming, though, did ya? All right, from 17 to 18. So, rule 18, obviously. Sorry, I get lost in the sauce of my own video game. This one plays in the rule 17, never attack a VT without proper evidence or cause. This one is well a difficult one to talk about. As if you're in a relationship with a VT, never actually bring up your relationship with one. Especially if they're one, right? It's your job as a VT and a VTuber actual relationship, a real one, to never bring up both sides of relationship. Uh, not going to lie, Ray Desu has broken this one. But it's more of a guideline as it's a Silver Age rule and it's literally has been made passe. As it seems, VTubers getting into, obviously, relationships happens more often than you think. Even some artists and riggers, along with VTubers, still fall in love and find a relationship. It's very important for them to not mention the relationship as it can harm one's image in the scene. Uh, I do not care for this rule. If you're literally in a relationship and you're proud of it, and you're happy and healthy and have a loving environment, of course you should have the right to brag about it. But this is because some YouTubers don't have this. And they can easily be made jealous. Because VTubers being single is a lot more common than you think. And a lot of them can get very upset and jealous and lash out. This is a guideline. For protection, the silver rules are guidelines for a VTuber's protection in their daily day lives. Okay. 
Okay, where's this chest at? In here? Oh yeah, they coming. They coming. Now they are coming from my location. They are all around me for crying, crying out loud. All I've got is the shield and this ain't good. Better use natural cover and well, here comes the eye of the storm. Knock, knock. God, I got a victory royale! On live stream. Oh, let's freaking go. Oh, that is something. That is cool, alright? First time on live stream. So let's continue. <laughs> Iron Patriot for the win, cadets. Let's go. Let's do a little jig. So, uh, yeah, rule 16. I mean, uh, rule eight, uh, 19, right? These are the bronze rules. As these ones are outdated. But should still be followed in some form or way. As, yeah. Um. The bronze rules are more like outdated codes. <sighs> bronze rule 19 is specifically let me try to remember this one god dang it been a while since i'm actually learned about these rules i don't know what's truly outdated or kept all right cursing is not allowed um depends on the type of vtuber you are, right? Depends on the type of YouTuber you really are. And cursing is one of these things that at one time was considered not allowed. As it was new in the scene and... You know, it was against the rules. 
This rule has become outdated due to terms and services of certain sites. And a uh, bronze rule 20 that is considered outdated. As the bronze rules are outdated, this one was made outdated because of Project Melody. Having a alternate career choice, alternate form of career. So normally when you would think alternate career choice, you would normally think like, oh, um, like a, you know, a normal job or something. Well, Yet again, this is outdated. This outdated rule is so VTubers can have a better chance of surviving online. Everybody needs more sources of income and sometimes, if not all the time, VTubers need alternate platforms to make it. Project Melody is one of these instances and since she entered the scene, this rule was severely made outdated. Ah! I almost had him a frost! Oh my god. Now somebody's gonna pick her off now. So, yeah. Rule 20 has become outdated. These are the 20 rules of the VTubing scene from gold, silver, and bronze. Gold must be followed by by old times. Silver must be e overall well respected, if not followed, and finally bronze is outdated. The 20 rules of VTubing are very important as they keep a healthy environment and, and life livelihood for everyone in the industry. I'm going to be real, uh, maybe I shouldn't have played Fortnite while addressing this, but I couldn't help myself as I felt like I had to do something while doing this to keep viewers engaged as I'm a gaming VT. I love gaming. It's my bread and butter. Alright. So we're just going to continue on with the stream, right? Let's go to Dr. Doom's castle.
Now, I'm going to readdress this in a more accurate video, but I wanted to address this on live stream. As a lot of my crowd is on YouTube, not on Twitter slash X, and the 28 rules of VTubing are very important. Oh god, somebody must be talking about me again because I'm about to sneeze! Ouch! I had Stormtrooper aim that time. <sighs> I'll be back later on today after I remake this into a normal video. Let it be known, the 20 rules of VTubing is always needing to be protected and enforced. Thank you so much, cadets. I'm going to eat some lunch, and then I'll be back later around 1 for the normal scheduled stream. I'll see y'all on the next planet later.